Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I created a lava generator. So I like this dripstone feature where it will drip into a cauldron and we'll fill it up. So I've got a bunch of buckets of lava. Not that there's any shortage of lava in the world, but for smelting large quantities of stuff, it's free fuel. So I don't have to be shuffling and juggling. You know, I've been, I've been using charcoal. So I've got some, I've got a bunch of charcoal here. And this is like, each one of these is like, you know, eight stacks of smelting, but so what I was thinking was we could do like, I've got all this cobble stuff. Um, and this seems to be appropriate for, it doesn't work out as neatly as using charcoal, but using coal or other sources like that but blah 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 and then it loads up if i'm going to be smelting relatively large quantities of things the lava buckets are good they each do what a hundred items so that's a couple of stacks and then i get more i get empty buckets out of it which i can then just grab more lava so as long as i'm not doing this all the time like i have like, oh, look, I have buckets, empty buckets already popped out. So I can come here and grab this lava up and stick it in here for future use. Like that. This will fill up at some point in the next, you know, Minecraft day. It's pretty quick. And then I'll just grab more. In the meantime, I've got buckets at the ready on each of these so as long as i put significant amounts of stuff up there it'll work and then i'll get smooth stone out of here since i haven't started interesting uh since i haven't started mining with the silk touch pick yet although i should probably start doing that oh speaking of mining so i was digging oh let's check in on this Ooh, a couple stacks of bone meal Ooh, almost four stacks of kelp world's slowest kelp farm so I was not digging there, obviously. So I was digging here and just building out a little room and I poked a hole here and like, oh my gosh, there's a guy gigantic cave here. And it was all dark. So I, I let some lava flow down just to be able to peek in. And I'm like, well, I'm up pretty high right here. I don't know. I probably would survive that in my boots if I dropped down, but I don't want to do that into a dark cavern full of monsters. So I came down and dug another one down here and ended up poking a hole right here and just lighting it up, doing some exploring. It's not that exciting of a cave. Um, it's pretty, pretty standard. I did get the dripstone though, so that was cool. A little bit of dripstone to make my lava generator. And there's a couple spots where I some additional adventuring will be called for over here past that lava flow will be some stuff. And then down here, there's some dark areas down here. There's like a ravine like structure down here. And those beasties, I can't really get up over here. Hi, I'm going to let you live right now. So, so anyway, this has been. And there wasn't that much in terms of ores here. I got a few iron out of it. Um, a chunk of copper. A good amount of copper. But oh, there's some more copper there. So this wasn't all that exciting. It kind of creates an interesting little question of what do I do here? Because I'm kind of stuck. Like this is about as far as I can take this room. Unless I want to like build the room out inside here. Maybe I do that. Maybe I add a glass wall and um, 
<clears throat> make it so you can stand here and look out into the cave. Maybe? I don't know. I still haven't figured out what to do with these these levels. That's nothing yet. Um, so I've been tur I'm turning these into a little bit of a just workshop area if I want to build something temporarily. So like here I'm, you know, smell tip. I think I got my little world's slowest cactus farm right here. Completely manual cactus farm. My little lava generator. So we'll, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but today, I think this brewing stand is so terribly lonely um, because we don't have another warp. So, and it's, it's difficult to know what to do about the fact that we don't have another warp because navigating around this part of the the nether where the portal spawn is just tricky. So here's what I want to do. Oh, and I'm sorry to use in barrels. I like this. So I've got my nether chest. Oh, with my golden helmet. Let me grab that because I need to put that on. All my armor is getting close to dying. So I will want to do that. Should probably have this fire resist potion on me. I've got another ender chest in my pocket. But then like tools and stuff. Like I don't need to bring a water bucket into the nether. Um yeah. Should probably bring some obsidian. Oh, I've got the ender chest. And then I'm carrying a worker pick, which yes, I want. Let's put this axe away because I don't know that I need that. Um, but my silk touch. Where's my silky pick? Silky, let's bring you. So I think, and I've got food. So the barrels are kind of cool because you can actually build it into a wall like this. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm wearing my helmet. I don't have gold to distract pinklins, but whatever. I will probably come across some. So many pinklins. So somewhere here, and I think I'll do it. Like, maybe I'll do it over here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to bring my scaffold in. Okay, hopefully I don't need it. So here's what I want to do. I want to build. Let's go put that fire out. I want to start on. Um, uh, oh. Okay, sorry. Just trying to think about what we're doing here. I want to start on our nether infrastructure. And I think the way to do this, let's move that off. Let's move that here, grab that. Yeah, so I think the way we're gonna do this is, I, I took a bunch of the cobbled deep slate that I had made uh, tiles out of it because I think it's a nice looking block. It might be a little dark for the nether here, but we'll find out. And I want to build a, I want to build up. I'm going to start building our nether hub. Maybe a little early, but the thing is I need nether wart and none of the, like there's a fortress over that way. And it's kind of convenient, but there's no nether ward in it. There's no nether ward room. There are no loot chests. It's just, it's just dumb. Um, so, and there are no other fortresses around here that I can get to as far as I can tell. So, I should be, 
I guess I'm exposed to ghasts from that side there, so let's build up this way. I hear them. Yeah. So I'm going to just start building up our nether infrastructure. I won't get it done here. But the deep slate bricks are nice because they are relatively blast resistant. And, and then we want to do something like this. So we have some cover from the stupid ghasts. Oh, huh. Speaking of bedrock. Okay. So. All right, so I want to make this look good, so I don't want to be two blocks underneath the bedrock. So, let's see, how far down do I want to go? I want to be able to put a floor in, and I want to be able to put a ceiling in, just to make it look nice. So I want at least three blocks here, because I need the ceiling for, the, for a portal, right? So if I want to put a ceiling in here, then I'm two below the ceiling here. Okay. Will that work? I think that'll work. All right. And then I want to slab the floor with something because I don't want Enderman to be able to spawn. And Oh, I should get the coordinates of the portal there. And my lighting block, I want to put right up at the top. So let's put it there. So let's take out this and put that. No, let's put that. Okay, cool. Let's take out the block behind and stick this in there. Come on. do that. Okay, so we have the start of our nether portal. And I'll put something up on the ceiling there so that we can minimize potential enderman intrusion. Be nice to make it as as safe as possible. Okay, so this portal is at grab a piece of paper and write this down. So I'll have one handy. Let's write it on here. I am woefully unprepared. Looking at minus 12, minus 10. Okay. Cool. So, the next thing to do would be to recreate the portal at minus 12, minus 10. Which means I gotta dig my way over there. So that's gonna be a little bit of work, but we're not that far away. So if I put the portal in facing this way, I need, so that's three along the bottom. The portal sides will go here. So this would be the base of the portal, the side of the portal here, and then I want a couple blocks to walk around it. All right. So 
so that's then one, two, three out to the side. One, two, three. And then a couple to either side. So here. this out so any unintentional lava has a place to flow a nice platform base and I'm running out of space in my inventory so we will have to do something about that probably have to go back home and drop some stuff off Okay, so portal goes in here. Um, let's, I, I have the stuff in my inventory to make the portal. Let's do this. And as a test, we can make sure that it links properly. It should. Oh, of course, I didn't actually put the obsidian into my uh, pocket. And I'm going to torture it there. And I will need to go get some more obsidian, but that's okay. Oops, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Interesting. Ah, close enough. Let's make them match. Good. Okay, so now I've got a little portal room. Let's put my obsidian left away. And then flint and steel. Ooh. So now if I did everything right. I should just be able to step through this and into home. Okay, that worked. Now, which way does this link to going back? Oh, it goes to the right one. It goes upstairs. Excellent. So now, I'm going to take down the old portal. I never liked where this one spawned, where this one generated. <laughs> and 
then this will be some obsidian to restock my uh, ender chest. I'm not even picking up the uh, obsidian, am I? There we go. And let's pick up the base. And let's... You acted like you were getting upset with me. I wasn't doing nothing. Okay. Well, let's fill in this little hole. This is probably gas hole. And... Go back in here. Go up. Okay. So now... We have a slightly safer way in and out of the nether. And we will improve the situation as we go along. Wow. That whole dropping through the world thing is super disconcerting. Oh, by the way, I, I expanded my room a little bit. I don't know that I'm going to put that fill that all up with chests, but I could use more storage. Uh, but obviously, I'm going to run into that that cave, so I don't know how far I can go. Okay, so now I've got enough obsidian to make a couple more portals if needed. I have some. Let's see, I have some quartz here in its raw form. So let me go, oops, stick this up here. I don't need to mine that just yet. Okay, so, nether rack. Yeah, so this is, this is an example. I could use some more storage. So let's, uh, nether rack. Yeah, I don't know how much I actually need in this form and how much would be good to smelt. But let's, uh, do I have any spare chests? I have a few. Get this off my hotbar for now. And, oh, one interesting I think I will be expanding out over this direction, but realize all the chests are laid in opening this way, and I want to keep that up, which is going to be an interesting challenge as we move forward. Oh. oh, there we go. So, and like this, it's kind of an ugly way of doing it. But it works, okay. So I'm gonna put some another rack in here. It's temporary storage, but um, put these chests away. And then I have this stone here, which I have some smooth stone here. Very nice, okay. So now, so I think I, I, I think I'm going to dig over that way and put in another row of chests facing that way. 
Don't see why not. Um, ooh, put you over here where you belong. But that's a that's a future expansion thing. Okay, let's go back in. Oh wait, 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 wait. I want to add a little something over here. So the thing here is, okay, so now we're, did you just spawn in my portal? <laughs> Or were you on the other side and came through? Maybe you came through. I need to slab up the floor, put ceiling, put blocks on the ceiling. Okay, so now, where to go? That's the thing. So I don't know where I'm going. Those guys sound so much more angry. So I created I, I created a little way down. Not over here, obviously. Where did I do that from? I don't know. I'm a little lost. See, we're we're already pretty high up. I've been down there. And I know I came over this way somewhere, right? And created by put my scaffolding down. Oh no, it's right there. I was looking at I was practically on top of it. Okay, so let's go over that way. So So in theory, I could extend this down below, creating safer a safer path down here. So we could do some more exploration in the nether. Because I'm sure there's, there's plenty of stuff here. Oh look, gold. Um, Magma cube, hello. You're a little baby though. You're not gonna drop anything when I kill you. It's like this. More gold. Huh. There's just no good way around here.
So this over here is one of these... <clears throat> one of these... Uh, what do they call them? Can I get up there? So this is a warped forest. And nothing, apparently nothing spawns in here. Obviously, gas can spawn in other areas and, and things can wander in. But, even this, not a fun sort of place to navigate. It's just dumb. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. But these glowing blocks here, these are really cool. Here we go. I haven't so touched it. Oh, there it is. Shroom light. They are very cool. They put off a lot of light. Um, so these would be nice in the ladder, but they're not very blast resistant. So any... I didn't bring my axe. I should have to cut down some of this stuff. But, um, so any gas action would potentially break those shroom lines. This stuff goes way up there. So anyway, that's, um... So it's difficult to move around that way. Unless I go in, I just start smacking around and... Uh, carving, carving my own path. Which is not exactly the ideal situation in the nether. So, let's go back here. So what I'm thinking is I could build the network out over that direction. So I think getting past the uh, that warped forest would be helpful. And once we get past that, then maybe we can try and navigate around. I don't know. But there we are. We have a portal and uh, the start of another, another hub. So I'm wondering if I start digging this way, can I? Like if I put the shroom light in here instead of that. I think that's cool. I think that'll work. Certainly it's protected there from any blast damage. Okay. So this is this is the way down. I'm thinking if I just start digging that way maybe. We'll uh We'll find another portion of the nether that I can drop down and start exploring there and maybe find another fortress. Because that's really what we need at this point. Just being able to brew potions would be very nice right now. I have one fire resist potion that was dropped by Piglin, I believe. Um, I think I got in trading with the Piglin. But <clears throat> I don't 
don't think I got it from a witch. So that would be... Um, it'd be nice to be able to brew those so I could be a little bit more comfortable here in the nether. All right, well, this is slow going, but I think this will be a better approach than trying to walk, you know, like 8,000 blocks in the overworld and building a portal there just to see what happens. Which was the other option. Oh, I also have a, I want to build a portal for the, the skeleton farmer, the skeleton farmer. Okay, that, that'll be a good first, first step. Let me go figure out the coordinates for that. And then I'll, I'll work on, I'll get a portal built for that on both sides. And that'll be good. Did not go all the way up. There we go. Okay, well, it started. Obviously, a lot of work to go. But it would be nice to get some... It would be nice to get some nether work working. So anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.